Today I will share with you 5 cybersecurity projects that will help you build your hacking skills and your CV. So without further ado, let's get to it. The first tool on my list is to build a simple keylogger. Now, what's a keylogger? A keylogger is a tool that records everything you type on your keyboard. It's like having someone watch over your shoulder and write down every single key you press on your keyboard. So, what can an ethical hacker do with this tool? Well, there are a lot of things that an ethical hacker can do with this tool, like security testing, and this includes uh, using a keylogger to test the security of a system, it can create awareness, and this can be done by showing to people how attackers can capture uh, keystrokes, and a lot of other things. Now, you ask, why making this tool is beneficial for someone who wants to become an ethical hacker? Well, making this tool is important for many reasons, being one developing your programming skills, because to, in order to make a keylogger, you need to write code. Another benefit is understanding how these attacks work and you will learn a lot by doing it yourself but within legal boundaries okay guys never use these tools unless you have explicit permission now if you understand how these attacks work you will be better at defending against these real threats overall you will gain valuable insights into both offensive and defensive aspects of cyber security. The second project on my list is to build a basic network sniffer. Now, what's this, a network sniffer? A network sniffer is a tool that captures and logs packets of data as they travel across a network. So, what can an ethical hacker do with this tool? Well, once again, there are a lot of things that an ethical hacker can do with this tool, and one of them is reconnaissance. In this case, ethical hackers can gather information like network architecture, devices, services running, they can find unencrypted data, outdated software versions, open ports, among other things. Another thing that uh, an ethical hacker can do with this tool is network troubleshooting. For example, if the internet is slow, a sniffer can help an ethical hacker to find the source of the problem by showing what's happening on the network. Now, why making this tool is beneficial for someone who wants to become an ethical hacker? Well, one reason is understanding network traffic. And this is because if you want to make a tool like this, you need to know more about the network protocols, uh, packet structures, how data is encapsulated and transmitted. You will also need to become familiar with how data travels across a network and you need to become familiar with network protocols, which is crucial for identifying and exploiting vulnerabilities. Another benefit is to build a strong foundation and master network sniffing early on builds a strong foundation for more advanced topics like intrusion detection, penetration testing, and network forensics. The third tool on the list is to develop a simple vulnerability scanner. So, what's this, a vulnerability scanner? Well, a vulnerability scanner is a tool used to identify and assess security weaknesses in computer systems, networks, and applications. It automates the process of detecting vulnerabilities helping uh, to ensure that the systems are secure. Now, what can an ethical hacker do with this tool? Well, this tool can be used to identify security weaknesses in operating systems, network devices and applications. Another thing that an ethical hacker can do with this tool is address these security weaknesses and the list goes on. Now. Why making this tool is uh, beneficial for someone who wants to become an ethical hacker? For starters, it gives automation skills because you need to understand how to automate the process of identifying vulnerabilities and because of that, your ability to write scripts and automate uh, tools will improve. Another benefit is that you will also 
gain problem solving skills. And this is because creating a functional tool involves debugging and optimizing your code, which will enhance your problem solving skills. The fourth project on the list is to implementing a basic firewall. So what's this? What's a firewall? A firewall is like a security guard for your computer's network because it watches all the data or traffic that tries to come into or leave your network and decides whether to let it through or block it based on rules you set. Now, what can a ethical hacker do with this tool? An ethical hacker can protect networks and this can include restricting outgoing traffic to ensure sensitive information doesn't leave the network without authorization. Another possibility is simulate attacks to test the firewall's effectiveness and uh, identify weaknesses. Now, why making this tool is beneficial for someone who wants to become an ethical hacker. Ok, this can be beneficial uh, because developing a firewall provides ends on which is more valuable than uh, theoretical knowledge. Because you get to see how traffic is filtered and how rules are enforced. Another benefit is building a firewall helps you think proactively about security, uh, about security, understanding uh, how to defend the network against potential attacks. The last project on the list, so the fifth project on the list, is to create a basic encryption tool. So what's this, an encryption tool? An encryption tool is a program that encodes or encrypts information to keep it secure and decodes or decrypts that information when access is needed. The purpose of this tool is to protect data from unauthorized access uh, by converting this data into a format that is unreadable without the proper decryption key or password. Now, what can an ethical hacker do with this tool? Number one, use this tool to encrypt sensitive information before storing or uh, transmitting it, ensuring that unauthorized parties cannot access it. Number two, incorporate this tool into applications uh, you develop to ensure that sensitive data is protected and so on. Now, why making uh, this tool is beneficial for someone who wants to become an ethical hacker? Well, you learn how to protect sensitive data, which is a crucial skill uh, for any cybersecurity professional. Um, this includes understanding how to securely generate, store, and uh, use encryption keys. Number two, building and testing uh, your tool can expose potential weaknesses in encryption implementation, uh, teaching you how to uh, recognize and fix them. Well, guys, these are the projects that I recommend you to do and I will try to do them myself and share with you. Now, remember that ethical hackers do not belong only to red team, they belong to blue team and purple team as well. And that's why I gave you not only projects uh, for offensive security, but for uh, defensive security as well. It's important for you to know that you can opt for red team or blue team or both making the purple team. Now, I know that these are advanced projects, but uh, if you break them in small parts, um, you can achieve your goal more easily. For instance, if you want to implement a basic firewall, begin by making a research on how firewalls work and their role in network security, uh, learn about different types of firewalls and basic firewall rules. Then, for instance, if you are familiar with Python, uh, begin by writing a simple script to manage uh, network traffic. After this, begin to build your firewall by developing rules uh, to allow or block specific types of traffic and then you can test and refine your firewall. 
Now, if you do not have any coding skills and you want to make these tools, I strongly recommend you to learn any programming language uh, because it will be essential for these projects. I personally use Python because it's easy to use and there are a lot of people that use this uh, programming language as well and this can be beneficial because if you have any questions uh, there are a lot of people that can help you with those questions. Another benefit that comes from making these projects that I haven't told you but it's uh, very important is if you want to become an ethical hacker uh, professionally then working on these projects helps you stand out in uh, your career because they show you can uh, do real cybersecurity work not just understand the theory okay by creating things like firewalls encryption tools and vulnerability scanners you prove uh, you have hands-on skills so these projects make your portfolio stronger and instead of just saying you have skills, uh, you can show your work and this is impressive for employers. And this is it guys, I hope you are excited to try out these awesome projects uh, and level up your cybersecurity skills. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave those in the commentary section down below. See you next time, stay curious, stay safe and happy hacking. Bye bye!